What up, YouTubers? <clears throat> Welcome to another exciting episode of my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Pangan. So I just spent the better part of the last hour building onto the old base here. Um, what I'm going to do right now is get creative. Look at all this welding. I'm starting to put some doors in there for our little garage here. Uh, I'm thinking I might have to make that bigger and just run the whole thing as one big door. But I'm, I'm going to test it out first, with the, at least with the little rover dude here, right? Expanded my walls up that way a little bit. And as you see, I, I ran, there's, there was a conveyor piping there. What I did is I expanded all this out. All this is glass. Added some stairs here. Built this little landing pad here with this connect, excuse me, this connector goes right into our base. Oh, damn, excuse me again. Goes right into the base, hiccups. Try to make a little cosmetic well, I was like, yeah, I don't know, but I was just kind of farting around with it. Like I said, but this whole thing here is glass. <clears throat> um, but man, that's that's going to be a lot of welding, and you know, I didn't think you know you guys want to sit there and watch me weld all day long. So I'm thinking I might. Attempt on a little hell, I don't know, a welding ship, maybe. What's on the front of this? Oh, there is a little connector on there in the front, isn't there? Yeah, look at that. Didn't even didn't even realize that. So if I way too big, oh that's a car medium cargo container. I thought that was uh, this. Oh, that's still way too big. Well, oh, that would be a three, wouldn't it? All right. So front of the cockpit is right here. Ooh. Lock that landing gear in place so <laughs> the whole thing doesn't tip over. That would suck. Hello. Let's not tip over. Alright. So, we get the, our little ship with the conveyor belt sort of right there, right? <coughs> um, I'm going to need all those. Yeah, let's just put it on this bar here. What we need are... Um, right here, welders. Now the question is, uh oh, there's no little ports on the welder, it's just a big port. Okay, well, scratch that idea. That ain't gonna work on this. What we're gonna need is Cargo containers, I'm thinking. That was seven. These are medium cargo containers. Yes. Yes. Yes, that'll work. Actually, that ain't going to work. That's what I need right there. Oh, 
so. What do we need? I don't even know. What, what did it say that we need? I forgot. Interior place, construction components. I've got all these interior plates. So that's the right way. Okay, so that works. All right, so now we should be able to clap these bad boys. Of course, just never want to work. Want to work with me? Got two welders. Need some way to fly this bad boy. very uniform, is it? And the only other thing I could think would, would be to widen that. Make it wider. <coughs> Never wants to spin the right way. Now, two. Perfect. Why wouldn't it go on there? Really? Nine. Oh. Well, okay. Would be nice. <laughs> it lined up right, right? And then on here, yes, yes, and then we need the cockpit. Why can't I get this cockpit on there? Gotta be. Oh shit, I'm all out of hydrogen. <coughs> oh, I got no hydrogen bottles on me. <coughs> no worries. Hydrogen bottles out of juice. So, what if I go like this? And 
then throw the cockpit on there. Oh, now we're even. A little far back, but that's cool. That I can work with that. Yes, I can work with that. So, we need some way, well, we got a way to connect them two boxes together there in the middle. Though. That little conveyor connects both of them meat and cargo containers. But we need we need some way to <clears throat> some way to run this so I can land on the connector resupply all the parts that I need take off and then go back to welding that's what I need. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm thinking. I'm 
not a cargo container, but a con conveyor box, right? How big is that? That's not going to be big enough. But that would be big enough. And then... Place for the cargo containers. <coughs> now, I don't know, seven. That's not gonna work. See that bitch. Love the way the shit rotates every time even though I just had it right. Can't I put a big conveyor right here? Oh, I could put a big swoop. Um, conveyor junction. Yeah, that'll work, right? No, well, you're probably just better off putting this in, right, Peg? And then running this shit down. That's too far. Let's let's get rid of this one. And then put in a five in. I don't know, is that gonna be tall enough? Because the container, cargo containers are in the way. So I have to put this in. And then five. Just going to be a little long, that's all. Construction components? No way! I didn't think that was gonna be possible. <coughs> well, looks pretty ghetto. Sure does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 
Alright, so I need... Then run this down. Then put five in. Right there, we're going to put the reactor, I'm thinking. Four. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do that. This shit is just getting bigger and worse and uglier and this terrible looking and wow. I'd be damned if this thing even flies, to be perfectly honest. <coughs> wow. 
Wow. I don't know, man. I'm just throwing down fucking thrusters. <coughs> Probably don't need that much downward thrust. Shit on the side of this. Fuck am I out of steel plates already? Just do all of them steel plates already?
I'm thinking I got too many damn engines going that way. Ghetto, for sure. I'm be surprised if this shit even flies. To be perfectly honest. Fifty uranium, really? I don't know how to split this shit up. Right click, left click, right click, nothing clicks. Hmm. So far, that's not good because that was because they ain't got no power. See if this bitch flies. I suppose I can leave that. It's all here for support.
It's gonna get him. Okay, let's not get it twisted. It's really fucking good. <coughs> I can't get in there because, uh, oh, it's got some lift though. I should be able to come right over here to this connector and land right on that baby though. So that should be all connected to the base. Hold on.
Alright, sorry about that. I had to get the ding door. I'll have to edit that out. Alright, so I should be able to... If I did this right... Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's right, because uh, there's no... There's the stairs is on that side. Okay, so... We're connected. This is all the stuff, right? I should be able to just drag all this shit right in there. Well, that went right into my inventory from this small cargo container. That's not what I really want to do. What I want to do is throw everything in here. Why can't I do that? See what I mean? The whole point of building this damn thing was to move all this shit. Into the cargo containers. And it's not going in. What did I do wrong? <coughs> That's our cargo containers. I'm able to transfer from here into here, right into the cockpit, because it's all connected, right? And then you would think from the cockpit that little trap door should come in here and feed my two cargo containers, theoretically. Unless I need to run these bad boys straight back. run that back into here somewhere and connect it? I don't know, that's a good question. Alright, so... So I'm having to hand feed all this right into the cargo container. Um, look, I still can't even transfer it to the other cargo container. That means only one welder will actually work. The one connected to that cargo container. Alright, so it looks like I screwed up somewhere. <clears throat> and that is just looks so ghetto. I wonder it's because where I got the stairs coming in at. Stairs we can't even use because the, the landing gear is in the way. And the only other thing I can think of would be to start all over, come think of it. Build this up wide enough, these two cargo containers wide enough, so I can throw in uh, one of these. Or, you know, big size one of those and throw it in there and see if that'll work. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll try that, but I'm going to go ahead and call that um, the end of this episode. It's pretty, pretty pathetic. I need some help. I need some comments. 
give me some advice on uh, on how to fix this because that's a whole lot of welding then having this little welding ship would definitely uh, mean I would be able to bust out this welding in no time all right so hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll talk to you next time I can see